If they want to receive it, did God make it available? All they have to know is how to receive it, and every person born again of God's Spirit can manifest the power of the Holy Spirit. Every person who is a Christian can speak in tongues, everyone, because Christ is in you, and that's the gift. God is in you. The Holy Spirit is in you as the gift. Now, you manifest it by the power of God that's in here. One more verse of Scripture, or two here. For the promise, verse 39, is unto you, to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our one. God shall call, as he called you. If you're a Christian, he called you. And the promise is to you. What promise? The promise that you shall receive the Holy Gift, Spirit. The gift, the promise is you'll receive it in a manifestation. And when they received it in a manifestation, what did they do on the day of Pentecost? Therefore, the promise is to all who are called that they are to speak in what? Sure. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. And then they that gladly received his word were baptized in the name of Jesus, not in water. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 what? That's what the word says. That's what it means. Maybe we ought to, before I close tonight, look at 1 Corinthians chapter 14. First Corinthians chapter 14. Verse 18. I thank my God I speak with tongues more than what? Did the Apostle Paul speak in tongues? And in verse 37 of this great chapter, he says, If any man think himself to be a prophet, or if he thinks himself to be what? Let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of what? Right. In the same chapter, he said, I would yet ye all spake in what? Tongues. Then what is the command of the Lord? that we all speak in tongues. These are the commandments of the Lord. This is why, people, when you get real honest and you look at the Word, there's only one thing you can do. You can just accept God's Word or reject it. Really, only one true thing you can do is accept it. Two things you can do, accept it and reject it, or reject it. But when you accept God's Word and you say you believe God's Word is God's will, there's one thing you're going to have to do, and that is, Speak in tongues. You've got to speak in tongues if you believe God's word is God's will. For it is a commandment of who? The Lord. People say it went out with the apostles. I don't care what people say. That's not what the word says. You can't go by what people say because you're not saved by what people say. You are have to go by what the word says and you and I are saved by what the word says. And it's a commandment of the Lord that all speak in tongues. This is why people I teach classes. This is why we have summer school. This is why I travel we're all over, just to help people to receive the power of God. Because unless you speak in tongues, you'll never know the reality of the salvation you've got. You'll talk about it. And if you're in different groups, you'll yak like as if you know the whole score. But deep within your heart, you absolutely do not know. You're guessing because you have no proof in the census world that you've got the real McCoy on the inside. But when you speak in tongues and hear yourself speak in a tongue, you will have the external manifestation in the census world that you have Christ, the power of God, the Holy Spirit within. And that's your proof that you have eternal life. It's your proof to you that you are a child of God and nevermore will come into condemnation. It is your proof that Christ died for you and that he lives within you. It's the greatest reality in the world today. Power for abundant living just came down. <laughs> it did on the day of Pentecost, too, so don't get excited. It's still pouring. <laughs> You're a wonderful bunch. This is a place not only do you have to know the Word of God, you've got to have a good sense of humor, you've got to turn the air conditioner on, you've got to turn the heat off, 
We've got to do everything. But he has made us more than conquerors, you know, in every situation. So we can turn the air conditioner on, a few other minor things. People, this is the greatest word I know. Maybe it's because I know so much God has taught me about this word that I stand up here and I just have chills going down my spine tonight because there's not a man or woman in here that I could not lead in a speaking in tongues within ten minutes. I'd love to lead everybody in. I may do some things that you don't know I'm going to do yet. Well, let me say this to you. What good is it to have a thousand dollars in your pocket if you don't know you've got it? Can't spend it. What's the use of speaking in tongues until somebody teaches you its value, until someone teaches you its greatness, then you can utilize it. I'd again say, and I think many of our people here know this, I doubt if there, well, I know there isn't a man or woman in this place I couldn't lead into receiving the Holy Spirit in ten minutes' time in manifestation. If you believe God's word, and if you'll literally do what I tell you, you'll manifest the power of God. Because if you're born again of God's spirit, you have the gift, right? And all you need to do is for someone to help you to manifest. This is why class, this matter of speaking in tongues is the greatest reality you have of the power of God today. And unless men and women start manifesting this again, church has no message. It's the power of God and salvation of every man that saves. This is why we need it. I'd like to say to you people in here tonight, if you have never spoken in tongues, why don't you take advantage of the class starting here on the 19th? I promise you, by the power of God, if you believe God's word, everyone will speak in tongues. Nobody's ever missed. Why should they be missed when they believe God's word? They're only missed because we miss to believe God's word. That's it. If a man teaches you that word, and it's rightly divided, the people believe it, they carry it out. I've never seen a failure yet in this nation when they believe God's word. And neither have any of the rest of you sat under this ministry. Most of you are in here tonight. I'd say all of you are in here tonight because you have known what this ministry has done for people, what it's able to do, and what it's done in your own life for the most part. If you'll be in that class three weeks from now, if you're really hungry, and I teach you what you got in your pocket spiritually, then you can really walk with the power of God and know that you know that you know that you know. That's my prayer, that for our people everywhere. If you get so hungry spiritually you can't wait till the class, find yourself one of my grads or come over and see me, and I'll still lead you. Right. Because we have people all over the country who are able to help you, who are able to teach you the word, who are able to lead you in. But I'm always concerned about my people who lead others in. Teach them first what they've got when they speak in tongues. So what's the use of speaking in tongues if you don't know what you've got? Take like a man been unsaved for 20 years. One more night, not going to hurt him. Oh, I know what the evangelists say. Suppose he got killed tonight. Who you kidding? He came to me, going to get saved. He's going to get killed tonight. He's going to get killed. He got killed a while ago. He's going to live tonight. But you can't teach him everything in one night. So he comes, so you teach him what you can. Do you bring him up? No. Because people, what's the use of teaching people to receive the Holy Spirit unless you teach them what they got? The curse is happening all over today in these circles. They talk about Baptists receiving Methodists, Lutherans, Roman Catholics. They talk about them receiving at Harvard and Yale and Princeton and the rest of the places. So what? They don't know what they got anyway. What they used to have. I want my people to know what they Then you can operate. Then you can walk with an intellectual sharpness, with a spiritual awareness and a humor. <coughs> That will not only bless your heart, but the ministry that God has set within my soul. 
and in our midst.